Deep Down Cleaning. Your one-stop cleaning outfit for Deep Down Results. John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com at the Scotiabank Center here in Halifax, uh, joined by St. John Sea Dogs head coach Danny Flynn. Danny, tell me a little bit about Joe Valeno. Such hype coming in, of course, and now we are into, into November. But tell me about his uh, first few months, and, of course, he was away at the World Under-17. Yeah, he, he's had a remarkable first third of the season in my regard when you, you factor everything in that he's come in as a, as a 15-year-old and to a team that had a lot of returning players. The thing that impressed me the most about him was his maturity. He came in, he was quiet, I'm assuming. Uh, he earned the players' respect by his, his, his uh, kind of low-key, get-down-to-business get type approach. On the ice, he earned the players' respect instantly because they quickly sized up that you know, this is a player with tremendous amount of ability for 15 years old. Early in the season, he had a ton of ice time. He had so many players away at, at pro camps. That's changed now. How has it affected his ice time? Yeah, he's still settled into kind of a top three-line duty. He plays on the second power play. Uh, he'll get some four and four times. So, in fact, we had 11 forwards last night, and I double shifted him with the, the fourth line. So, his minutes have been good. Um, he's a student of the game. He's a smart young guy. He's driven. He's he's. Uh, it's all there. He just needs time and development. On the power play, on your second power play unit, and uh, how how has that gone? Oh no, he's been good. His hockey sense and his skill level for 15, as I said, it, is remarkable. And you know, I was concerned coming in. I hadn't seen him play, and I said, "Geez, we got a 15 year old here." What kind of special challenges will that present and how ready is he to play? And that lasted about 15 minutes. I mean, he's a good player and deserves every bit of ice time he gets here. And, it, and, and one thing that has impressed me as well is he's very good defensively for 15. He has his lapses like any young guy, but usually kids coming in as 16s in this league, the defensive side of the game, it, it takes a lot of adjustment. He's pretty good for a young guy and, and uh, he's, he's more than held his own. And, and uh, I think once he gets his, his way around the league for another month or so, and this game's going to really elevate. He was real good last night. He was second star. And he's got great puck protection skills and, and good offensive instincts and, and lots of courage. Finally, Danny, uh, maturity is a word you used to describe him a number of times. I have to wonder about just his confidence coming in. And I know he's a confident young man, but coming into the Quebec League and being the youngest player here, uh, tell me about his confidence. Has it grown or has he taken a few hits along the way? No, he's been good. You know, the, the, the real good ones... They know. Even if they're quiet, unassuming guys, they get on the ice and they're full of confidence. And he's had some good games and he's had some off games, much like our team. And but but he has that inner belief that I can do this. And if he was looking for the easy route, he would have stayed a midget for another year. You know, he, he took the hard road and came in here as, as a fifteen year old and assumed all the pressure that comes with being an exceptional player. He could have rode it out and came in next year as it's just another real good 16-year-old, but he made the hard choice. He's a long way away from home. Uh, this guy wants to be a hockey player.